We're back at Publix. You know what that means. What does that mean? It's time for shot number two. Yep, it is so early again. 9.01. Ooh, I slept so bad. I didn't sleep at all. I worked night shift last night. Uh, I lied. I came home and I slept like two hours. Well, I felt bad. A ghost woke me up. Uh -huh. I thought it was you coming home. And on my right arm, I felt you shaking it. Like, wake up like this. Like, wake up, wake up like that. And I rolled over angrily like, well, leave me alone. I got an alarm set. And then I look over and you're not there. But then... That ghost has got to go. There's a dog in the bed. So it was probably just a dog We're scratching his ass. We're going to assume. Shaking the bed and making me think, ah, ghost. That's okay. I'm wearing my I Believe in Ghost shirt. I don't know. I hope not. All I know now is they're about Hopefully to get the second in the vaccine arm. doesn't make me a ghost. Well, I think it's going to be oh. fun. Uh, <sighs> that's why we're vlogging it for you guys. I'm just tired. Yeah, me too. I'm exhausted. Right I bet you are. You worked all night. All right, let's go. Let's hope yep. that they give you, because my appointment's at 9.15. Mine's at 10.15. We're hoping they can see me. Right. Have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Alright, let's go do this. It may be 9 o'clock in the morning, but it's hot as hell. Oh man, it's already... Or maybe not hot, it's just the humidity which makes it hot. You know what I mean? It's not Big, like the heat yet. Wet blanket. It's like I stepped into an head. oven that's on preheat. Yeah, it's not good. It feels better in the shade. Where are you going? going are you making a run for it? Yeah, I'm ready. I don't oh, even I care. Be, I just want to get it done. Uh, I'm actually been looking forward to getting it done. Yeah. If you're more enthused, uh, more weight. But yeah, don't let the lack of enthusiasm. Hey, we ain't more than people. Let's sign in. So we made it home from Publix. Shot number two. It is done. We are fully vaccinated. And right now, I have nothing more than just, I can not sore yet, but I can tell something it's happened been about to my arm. 15, 20 minutes since our vaccine. And I have a different feeling. I feel like I got stung in the arm by a bee. Wow. I could definitely feel my arm is tender where the needle went in. It sort of feels like a bee sting. Well, I know the soreness is definitely coming for me because the last time it was like way more sore than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it lasted days. Yeah, and luckily yeah. Publix was really nice and his appointment was at 10.15 and it's 9.50 now and they did him before me. So that was nice of them. So he didn't have to go back and he's about to go to sleep yes. because he's got night shift tonight. And then when I wake up. Unless he feels... Yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll see. It. I'll tell you when I wake up how I feel. Mm -hmm. uh, any cold flu-like symptoms. Yeah. That right now, just I can tell there was a little... I can tell I got a shot. Boo and is very proud of you for getting vaccinated. He, he is. He's so proud. That he's like, you me make me. Him. He's like, you make me get my vaccines. That's or vaccinated. You, you're vaccinated now. He's like, too, I have to get my rabies shot. You got your rabies shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's proud of me. Look. Oh, but he's like... You didn't get yourself a treat. I, I didn't. I'll get one later. So that's where we're at, and we'll keep you updated. It feels like pet me. Later. <laughs> All right. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? So it's day two, and we just want to give you an update of where we're at. Uh, yesterday, after the shot, I came home, and went to bed because remember I'd been working night shift, and when I woke up, I just felt fatigued. And obviously, a really sore arm. Uh, I went to work. And as the night progressively went on, I got worse and worse. I'd got, I mean, not like death's door or anything, but enough where I didn't want to be at work. I could tell I was running a little bit of a fever, some chills, so I made it like almost halfway through the work day at night, and uh, I went home. Came home, went to bed. Today, day two, I'm feeling much better. Uh, no chills, no fever, just again, some general fatigue. I'm kind of tired. It's See the Motrin day. in the back right there? Yeah. He, he's popped a couple of Motrins. Yeah. It's just been a lazy day. Did manage to get a workout in, but other than that, I'm sitting on my butt. I, for one, after my shot, just had a short, sore arm. And I felt my skin felt a little weird. Yeah. A little weird skin feeling. And that was it. But today, as the day keeps going on and on, like I feel warm right now. Like I got a fever brewing. 
Yeah. I feel body achy. My clothes feel gross against my skin. You know what I mean? You kind of feel like I was last night. Yeah, my arms getting a little sore. Last night it was like, meh, it was fine. Yeah. Today's a little so bit. stiff this morning. Mm -hmm. It's better now, like loosening it up, I guess, working out and stuff. So no. now it's like much better, but yeah. The I'm glad that I got the vaccine. Me too, totally. I haven't dropped dead or anything like that. No. And I don't feel any worse than, I just, to be honest, can I be honest? I'll be honest. I haven't felt bad at all since this pandemic started. No. Like no cold, no flu. No flu nothing. Nothing. This is the first time. He said last night when he was going to bed that if he didn't have his vaccine shot, he would have thought that he had a cold, flu, or the COVID. Yeah, because I haven't had anything in so long, so it felt uh -uh. a little weird to be not 100%. Yeah, it's like I forgot what it feels like to have a little fever, or what it feels like when your skin feels creepy crawly. Yeah. When your clothes touch your skin a weird way, and you're just like, oh, I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. I haven't been sick for over mm -hmm. a year. And just like I said, it was very slight, not like I was on death's door or nothing. No, just, you know, I'm not like dripping sweat or anything no, like but, that. But I'm fine. I'm thinking even just that compared to a full blown like COVID infection. Oh my God, I can't imagine. Yeah, but how I've been feeling since this whole pandemic started, I've been fine other than paranoia, of course. Massive paranoia. <laughs> but we've been the type of people we wear a mask and sanitize and wash our hands. We never got COVID. This whole time with the pandemic, we never caught it. Nobody in our family did except for his parents. Yep. But other than that, we never got a cold, never got the flu, never got COVID luckily. And now we got this vaccine and it's like, oh, I forgot what it feels like to be a little uncomfortable in your own skin. Yep. But we made it through all of that and now we're vaccinated and... And we're prepared yeah. too. If I, my fever gets worse throughout the day or the evening, I've got Gatorade. Yep. I prepped food, so I'm good to go. Easy peasy. We've got a ton of Dollar Tree movies to watch. What was the one we watched last night with the zombie? It was the zombie flick. Dead Sight? Dead Sight was stupid. And we tried to... We watch, watched the whole thing, but we, it was stupid. We watched uh, attempt number two to watch... Um, Vampire Wars. Vampire Wars, and again, we didn't make it. We get like a minute in. It's horrible. Yeah, it's... It's not a good movie. The Dead Sight, is that what it was? Yeah. It was about a blind guy paired up. He wakes up in the back of an ambulance handcuffed to the gurney. And then eventually he stumbles across a cop who's pregnant and they get into shenanigans. But they're not fun shenanigans. They're yeah, annoying. I didn't watch it, so I can't say. But anyway, we've got a ton of movies to watch. So that's our day. It's yep. be a lazy day. We watch the movies. thought we'd, we'd fill you guys in on day two because, like, like, you know, people say they're fine for day one, which I was. Yep. And day two, they don't feel so great, which is me. Yep. And then he was bad day one. And of course, it's different for everybody, but mm -hmm. it's all we showed this again, just like we did with the shot number one. Throw this out there with shot number two for those who are on the fence or nervous or got a shot coming up and they're nervous. That uh, I will say that last night I wanted to punch him in the face <laughs> because I said yesterday about like the the dog was shaking in the bed but I, I thought it was like a ghost shaking my arm yeah, so, so here he comes in creeping in the bedroom at like two in the morning and i'm like ready to jump out of bed <laughs> and, and start throwing Ooh. hands and then we got a night light over by the door too so he comes in looking like the old movies where they're sitting around a campfire with the <laughs> flashlight shining on their face i'm like what in the Ooh. ah Ah, why weren't the dogs barking? I'm like, damn, ghosts. Yeah, no. I don't even believe in ghosts. Although I have a shirt that I got from Black Craft Cult. That I have I two shirts do. with ghosts on them. They're cute. Go to Black Craft Cult and look at their ghost shirt. The one that says, I believe in ghosts. It's so cute. It looks like the ghost from that one movie, Ghost, with Joaquin Phoenix's woman mm -hmm. and the Affleck brother. What is, you know what I mean? Ghost story. Ghost story. It's like an old school ghost. Yep. I get sidetracked so easily. I'm sorry. But we're going to sign off on that now. <laughs> yeah, when we feel better, we'll get back out and look for DVDs yep. and stuff and vegan shenanigans. Shenanigans. But we're always, alive. We made it. We're vaccinated. We made it the whole way without catching COVID. And then we got it injected into our bodies intentionally. So, <sighs> Wacky. on that note, Wacky. thank you, Bill Gates. Thanks, and Bill Gates. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.